may I assist you? Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunica, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true. And they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir. Truly. <laughs> I need a suit of armor. Heavy. Able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Bolts, you mean? Oh, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy. Tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire. I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. <laughs> you know how it is, General. Good help's hard to come by. We should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Can't turn away a Nilfgaardian general. I get it. But I hope it doesn't mean you've forgotten about my armor. We haven't. Well, I haven't. And won't. Because I'll be the one to make it. Understand? And the Nilfgaardian's armor. And every other suit he agrees to make. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes. Nails. Not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bones. But in the end, they call him Master. No one'd ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human, and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can. Fox on a lot of you. Everything's all right. Ye seek trouble? Don't. You look familiar. Tell us where your coin is, or you prepare to. Got their asses whipped like a Delphi rat hole.
That's it. Arch Griffin's had a veritable feast. Stopped feeding here. Moved towards open ground to fly away. Stopped feeding here. Moved towards open ground to fly away. Arch Griffin Feather. Must have lost it when taking off. Hopefully its nest is nearby. You're back. So, got the acid? Mm-hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. Armor's ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better, Fergus or me. Geralt, it's done. Looks... Very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this? General Ioanna is the master artisan, not Fergus. She crafted this armor to prove it. For God's sake, Ioanna! What do you think you're doing? Tamaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies, in live combat. 
Oh, quite a crowd. You there, put on this armor. Uh, I'm just here to shoe me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Geralt, will you help? Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. Bloody hell. I just came here to shoe me yours. Does this look to you like armor that stops bolts? Compensate the man. Now, let us see what this other suit is worth. Gonna live? Ah, oh, I. But these armor's rubbish. Stan. I wish to see the armor. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume Old Milf Guardian army requisitions. Is that clear? I as day. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. I'll be going to my things. Just get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. You weren't certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. Master craftsmanship something I trust in, something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriffin Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that. Fancy a gander at our little stockpot. Show me what you got. See ya. to come by. What can I do for you? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed it in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, and thanks for what you did. Take it, and may it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care.
Get out of my sight. We shouldn't. We can't lose hope. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tudorok. In fact, no one in Ard Skellig's especially fond of them. Any clan out there Ard Skelligers are friendly with? Well, certainly wouldn't be those Brockvar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Pharaoh folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Anskellig always been too big for their britches. Now, Madman Lugus's clan. They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. Let's get going. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside.
fallen. I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog, alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone had steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Bled to death. Was to be his last voyage. Now, pick up the pace. See your rare to go. Uh huh. Know the Isle well. I'm telling you. In fact, plow an enormous horse, son. He is. Let's get going. I can't believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this ungrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now!
poor bugger. Should have let him out. Shouldn't blame yourself. We never knew with Viggy. Might have rushed at the giant bare fist as soon as he was out. And that might have spelled death for us all. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Sarah's dropped in for a visit. Nay, it is an honor to host on Crete's daughter. She come for a visit? What's that? Gotta come back tomorrow. Rare indeed to get an audience once he gets trapped with the door. They smear Gosh. your ass with the door. be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yara. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs.
Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Alls Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Off gun fell overboard a near time. <laughs> Saved him. Plus the gods directed him. He said them. Fresh footprints. Could be services. Something seriously wrong here. something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword? Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skelligan. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. 
What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. You're talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. Calm and the quiet. Where is Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelric hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? 
Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ullula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan rang. That ought to be enough. I'm off. There's a weapon. Must be the place. <laughs> 